Okay, well, to start off with project three, our dimmer circuit. So for this, what we'll need is three red 5mm LEDs, a standard 1000 ohm resistor, 1k ohm, brown, black, red are the colors, our breadboard, 400 point, our power supply given by four AAA batteries in a four AAA battery holder, a uh, male to male jumper wire, and you can see these have points on either end so they let us connect two items in the breadboard and this interesting component which is our 10k potentiometer or variable resistor it comes with these nuts in the pack I mean you literally just slot them on and screw them on like so uh, you can see it has three terminals and we vary the resistance by turning the dial like this be careful though because even not all 10k potentiometers will be the same some will give logarithmic like a much you know larger increase on turning the dial others will be more sensitive and give a sort of more incremental increase okay Let's start off with our leds the longer tunnel is positive the short tunnel is negative put them in separate channels so they don't mix remember this is our power rail uh, each set of holes is entire row is electrically connected so we have two rows here Whereas the rest of the breadboard, these sets of five holes, each set of five holes is electrically connected. A thousand ohm resistor going to the anode or showing the same channel as the positive terminals, just to make sure our LEDs don't ever get too much of voltage and fry. And we're going to have our potentiometer. You can see it has these three terminals. Just make sure they're nice and flat. I'll slot it in anywhere like this. Make sure the terminals go into the holes nicely so it's electrically connected. And we have our jumper wire. We're going to connect the second leg. Make sure it goes in the right hole. Connect our resist fixed resistor to the middle terminal of the potentiometer. I'll connect our power source. The black uh, negative terminal here. And the positive terminal to the end terminal of our potentiometer. Just make sure it's flat. You can see if we turn the potentiometer up and down, we get the LEDs glowing more or less brightly. If we turn off the light, you see that better. Like so there we have it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our other videos. And feel free to like, comment and subscribe.